Welcome to Soul Matters. Soul Matters is short YouTube videos that explore some of the things that matter in our lives. In this video, I would like to talk about something that definitely matters, your true self. Do you know that you have a deeper self? Do you know that your deeper self is who you really are? You know, many of us think that we are defined by our job or our career or our possessions or our reputation or our successes or our achievements or our status. We think that our worth or our personal value comes from these things. Well, it doesn't. It can't. These things are all passing. They do not last. These things cannot have the final say in who we are. The only thing that can define us is our deeper self. Our deeper self is who we really are. That is why it is called our true self, our true self. So what is my true self? Well, to be honest, it's not easy to describe. This is because it is a spiritual reality. It is something that comes from God. My true self is the image of God within me, making me God's daughter or God's son. My true self is an immortal diamond at the center of my being that is a wellspring of love. My true self is my soul, my source of life and energy and creativity. Whatever way we try to describe our true self, it ultimately means one thing, unconditional love. Because I have a true self, I am loved unconditionally. And this is why the true self is sometimes referred to as our belovedness, our belovedness. So how then do we access our true self? Well, it seems to me the most fruitful way is by making time for silence. What happens when we make time for silence? Well, when we make time for silence, we discover that we have deep longings, deep desires within us. When we make time for silence, we may find ourselves admitting that we may be feeling dissatisfied and perhaps even restless. When we make time for silence, we allow God the opportunity to whisper words of affirmation and approval into our hearts. You know, people who make time for silence will tell you that they have glimpsed a self beyond their egos that is Soaked in love. Soaked in love. And that's it. That's it. I have a self beyond my ego that is soaked in love. This is my true self. And it means, it means that I am not what I have. I am not what I do. And I am not what other people think of me. And that's freedom. That's freedom. 